What's up everyone? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be installing some new parts on my truck Farley. So I'll show you guys what's going on. So this is my 2017 Trek Farley 5. Uh, I bought it used towards the end of this season and I needed to keep riding. Um, so I picked up a fat bike to ride during the winter and uh, this came up for a really good price so I just had to get my hands on it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw some upgrades on there, um, get it ready for winter, which is already here. Um, the bike originally came with the factory tires um, already studded, and um, I wanted to run some summer tires before the snow came and uh, see the full experience of what it's like to ride a fat bike during the summer. And uh, that was a lot of fun, but uh, now that the snow and ice is here, it's time to get it ready for winter. So for upgrades, what are we looking at? We've got a lot of stuff on the table. So first things first, dropper posts must have. Um, we've got the PNW components, ridge dropper. We're gonna be installing that, definitely needed. Um, of course, gotta have the loam lever with that. And loam grips in gray, personal preference. Uh, you may realize that a lot of this stuff is in that color scheme so we've got the race face 6c carbon handlebar um, of course it's lighter weight than the aluminum or steel um, handlebars but also because it's made out of carbon fiber it's not going to transfer cold onto the grips as much as a metal bar would um, also from race face in gray we've got the limited edition race face chester pedals in battleship gray and uh, we've also got a bond traeger uh, 50 mil stem as the factory one is this long dinosaur 70 millimeter xc style stem just not a fan of it um, also we've got all mountain style frame guard and of course we need to be able to see during the night when it gets dark, uh, we've got the Lumina 900 from Knight Rider. So we're gonna go ahead and slap these all on here and oh, as well, the winter tires, the Bond Trigger Narwhals and um, get those put on here. So I'm not gonna do this as a how-to video, more of just like a uh, show you guys what's going on. So uh, if you guys do wanna see um, how-to videos, let me know. got just about everything removed off the bike. I'm gonna go and start off with getting the headset um, all put together with the shorter stem and the carbon bar and get all that stuff put back on. So here you can see the difference between the 70 millimeter stem and the 50 millimeter stem. I like the functionality and performance this is gonna give me over this so we're going with the shorter stem all right so now that we got that all tightened up next thing we're going to install is the race face carbon 6c bar 
So in comparison, the two bars, the race face is a 785 and the stock bar is a 750. So I like my bars wide. I'm not gonna need to trim these race face bars. But just so you guys can see the difference, it's about a quarter of an inch, maybe half an inch uh, longer on each side. Yeah. So if you've never installed carbon bars before, you should know that you can't just slap it on there and tighten it as tight as you possibly can. Um, with the race faces instructions here, you're supposed to just tighten it to stem specifications, which doesn't really tell me anything. It, you know, the pattern that you should put it in and all that, but it doesn't tell me how tight it needs to be. What you're gonna need to use is a torque wrench. Shout out to the homie Norman for letting me borrow his. And according to the internet, four to six Newton meters should be enough um, for tightening up your carbon bars. So I think I'm gonna go with the in-between and go for five and hope nothing cracks. meters for tightening uh, handlebars and uh, I think I've got it pretty much right where I want it. Probably have to make adjustments later down the road but uh, yeah let's tighten it up. do is get the saddle swapped over to a new dropper post and from there we'll need to get our cabling set up have that routed luckily for this it's internal routed and they've got factory um, outlets that'll go through so I wanna go get this set up. Got the dropper post pretty much right where we want it. Pretty easy to install. Um, videos all over YouTube, especially from PMW, which is really helpful. So we connect the wire. I've got that routed to the lever. And easy. I uh, also got the tires mounted up as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this here and get the wheels on and then we get the final touches to put on pedals and some frame protection and this thing should be done. down the way it should and man does it look great only thing that I didn't really think about was the camo protection 
unfortunately. I thought that uh, this would be white and this would uh, look good on the black frame, but unfortunately this is pretty much transparent, so I can't really see the design at all. Also decided to mount my hand pump there. Uh, if there's one thing I've learned with fat biking, tire pressure is going to make or break your ride. So got to have that ready to be adjusted on the fly. But other than that, everything turned out great. Let me know what you guys think. I'm excited. I can't wait to go ride this thing. All right, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think about uh, what we did here today. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this or how-to videos, uh, let me know as well, too. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.